Alright guys, here we go. This is Mountain Man with BCB Bushcraft. Uh, sorry about the background noise. Um, the rest of my family is watching TV. What I'm doing is I'm making a pouch sheath for this. And I kind of started making the video a little bit late. But I've got the loop sewn on there. And it's tied off in the corners where I want it. And it's got the welt in there. And in theory, this knife is going to sit right here like that. It should make me very happy with it does. We're going from a pouch sheath, or from a kydex to a pouch, so... Basically what I'm doing right now is I've got holes punched right here in the first layer, and I'm taking this nail, and I'm just pouching them all, yeah, pouching, punching them all out of here, the little plugs. So I'll check back with you in a minute. So right now I'm taking a ballpoint pen and I got the holes punched right here. Now the reason I can't go through all three layers, the welt, the back, and the front at the same time is because the holes will be a little bit off. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the marker and I'm marking where the hole should be. And then I can just punch right through the two layers, it'll be a nice even hole. Hey guys, it's Noppy and Not Man here with BCB Bushcraft. Uh, Not Man right now is working on a leather sheath or or leather pouch technically for this knife right here. It's gonna go up to about there probably. So. so what I've already got done is I've got the holes marked along the welt. And it's cut out, the bell loop's already sewn down. And the holes are already punched in this side. <clears throat> um, I'm going to leave the square right here. I'm going to sew some extra stuff to it later. But now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our leather punch and we're just going to punch along these holes right here. And we'll get back to you when we're done with that. Alright, so I've got holes punched all the way around in here. I cut out the little stitches I had here holding everything together. Um, these holes aren't perfect. They're a little bit off, but that's okay because you're not going to see those. All that counts is these. What we're going to use now is some sail twine. Um, you don't have to have a needle to do this. It kind of helps. But I broke three needles already today because the leather is just so thick and the string is so strong you can't really pull it through. I was using a pair of pliers. They just kept snapping off. So I'm hoping I can just shove this through here. So what we're going to do... <clears throat> cut off enough string to go all the way around this way and then come back and then round around all the edges. So I'll come back when we get that done. Okay. Alright, so we're starting our sewing. Got a thick leather needle here. What we're just doing is up and down. And once we get to the other end, we'll come back just to make sure everything is good and tight. And I might go around the outside just for looks or something. Uh, not really sure yet because I'm going to leave this square on here so it's a square sheath but like I said I'm not really sure no, this is kind of fast actually so I'll come back when I'm done alright so I got to the other end means we're halfway there uh, did an overhand knot now I'm just going to start going back towards the other end. And I'll check back in in a minute. Alright guys, we're halfway. But anyway, I had to make an extra hole right here with the needle. And this stuff was so thick and so hard. That's an eighth inch hardened leather needle. And it bent at a 90 degree angle. Kind of frustrating. Alright guys, so I got some 527 glue. We showed this as a possible fire starter a few vids back. So 
So I'm just going to put a dab of that on there. It's actually way too much. I'll get a towel, wipe some of that off, and we'll be back. Alright, so I wiped off that excess with a towel I had out in the shop. Pull it through right there real tight down into the glue. Actually, we're going to pull that back out a little bit. Come back up this side for one last overhand. This is so tight. It's ridiculous. That's the end of our sewing on that. So, not too bad for a first try. Little waver right there, but it's all good. I'm gonna trim this up a little bit, and that'll be it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll include some photos of the finished product in the end. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.